Hey everybody, thanks for joining us today as we take a little stroll around the farm. Come follow along. I haven't seen that many butterflies this year. Me either. There's the kitty cat. I remember that cat when I was here last time. Oh, okay, yeah. I come for the cat. And they got names. Yeah. Casper. I see pumpkin. Where's Casper? Oh, Casper. All right. And Dahlia, green colored. Oh. Yeah, there was a business in uh, Milltown called Green Dahlia. Oh, okay. Cute. Oh, pumpkin's cute. Do you go to any fairs this time of year? Uh, only if I'm drag kicking and screaming. <laughs> There's a llama. something in there. Two of them. Sleeping. Oh man, there's flies all over them. <laughs> Smart kitty. In the shade. Hi kitty. Hi kitty. Would you do a um, goat yoga? Goat yoga? What is goat yoga? Um, the places that have goats, not this place, but other ones, they have a yoga teacher come and teach a class and the goats are kind of like, I think they'll climb on top of you and stuff during the yoga class. <laughs> All right, that's funny. Um, yeah. I never tried it. But they offer it. And, and you pay for this? Yeah, it's like $20 a class or something. Oh, 20 bucks is, it'd be funny. Yeah. Yeah. We should try it. Uh, yeah, I could do some stretching. Uh, I noticed in the last video that this part of me was way stiff. So I, I really need to glide and walk like a... Yeah, I have the same it. problem. When I watch the video, I'm like, I'm just like, oh my God, I see all kinds of posture problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe I should be stretching before coming on camera. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Oh, and then a video that I was working on you, I was doing a Thai massage. I forgot what I was doing. Time oh. Massage. Yeah. oh yeah you were face down yeah and i think i was like sitting on your back and then like pulling your yes. shoulders upward yes and somebody comments like you're gonna injure yourself doing that oh my. <laughs> okay i never did i never injured myself yeah. doing yeah. it but yeah there could be a lot of muscle work in there but if your posture is good what I actually didn't injure myself doing was the regular cobra. I already told you where it's the same thing, but except grabbing, except, except because, and the one I was doing, I reach underneath your shoulders and yeah. then like pull 
yeah. back. The regular cold where your knees on their glutes and then you grab their hands and lean back. I already injured myself doing that because mm. my wrist is so weak. So that's why I'm actually prefer the other one. Uh -huh. It's less strain on my wrist. Yes. I feel like it's... Well, that's the one you should do. It, yeah. There's no need for you to do anything that hurts you. Okay. But, but somebody commented saying that's going to hurt me. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they, if they were ex trained and if they had your body, then maybe they'd got a claim to it. But, you know, you, you've got strengths and weaknesses different to them. Yeah. Oh, we can get close. Okay. All right. We're going to surprise this one. Actually, you know what? When I was in um, Thai massage training, yeah. at the time, because this was so many years ago, at the time, it was like hurting my thumbs, all the thumb work. Uh -huh. And then one of the students was like, you're never, you're never going to make it in Thai massage if it's like your thumbs like that. My thumbs actually got stronger. Agreed. They're, it doesn't bother but, them well, now. Yeah, in my case, the first semester, I, I hurt one thumb, and then the second semester, the other one. So I, I had to then learn how to do massage without thumbs, and I've done it that way ever since. Yeah, I do a little bit. But yeah. I'm all the better for it. Yeah, but, but if I had listened to her, I would have probably, like, you know, just quit. Oh, yeah. But I think my thumbs got str they, they never really bother me. And I do a lot of thumb work. I think they get strong. Yeah. I, I'm surprised this one hasn't moved away. I, I could easily reach over and touch. <laughs> that one has a thing on his face, but he's trying to eat and he can't eat through it. There must be a reason. I don't know what it is. <laughs> See, he has this thing and he's like, I want to eat and he can't. What, that one with, with the basket in front? Yeah. He it's probably feed inside there, I'm guessing. No, I, oh. I mean... Oh, if, if not, then... He's trying to eat the grass, and he's like, why aren't you getting any grass? <laughs> Maybe he, they put him on a diet. I don't know. He yeah. looks kind of fat, so... See, if you look at his rear, see the star There's cut a star? into his... Oh, oh, he had a surgery? No, 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 no. I think that's cosmetic. They, they cut the hair to leave a star shape. They, oh, okay, I see it now. Why would they do that? To identify. Oh. Without having to, like, tag. Oh, okay. Yeah, so now this one, she's got a tag in his or her ear. Well, that might be a way to identify without doing that. I think he's really annoyed. He's like, I'm not getting the grass. <laughs> what <Yeah>. the heck? <laughs> Must be on a diet. Well, you could ask somebody. Yeah. He doesn't stop trying, though. <laughs> okay, there's the horse. Don't they spit at you? Yeah, it's not a horse, that's an alpaca or a llama. No, no, I meant that's the horse. Oh, yeah. But yeah, don't they spit at you? Hi. You chewing something or just... You, would you like to pet this one and I'll no, hold no, the no. camera? Hi, horse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got some sheep over here.
So he's used to people? Yeah, he doesn't mind mm -hmm. people. Oh, that's how they, they cut their hair or something? They cut. put him on that thing? Oh. To cut their hair? Okay. I think. Yeah, and so this just immobilizes them. So yeah. they stand there yeah. and perhaps put their head there and <laughs> with, with a little bin to collect the hair. <laughs> That cat is called Izzy. Oh, okay. How sweet. Wow. Oh, he's missing an eye. Got one eye. Ah. <laughs> They're cute. Oh, the flies are annoying them. That's why I keep yeah, kicking. They, I'm sure they're used to it. What is Mac wearing? I don't know if he, that one is out there. Mask, fly mask and fly boots. Yeah, that's not. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I don't see one with a. Okay. Thing. Chicken. So how long is your stretching class that you're going to be teaching? How, how long what? Is your stretching class that you're going to be teaching? Oh, it'll be an hour. I'll do it twice. Okay. So this is for members of the gym. Okay. Where'd you get the curriculum? I made it. Do you do these stretches? Yeah, it's part of my assessment and treatment in medical massage. Oh, yes. it is? Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of st stuff I do any time I, I meet somebody. You know, they, they're complaining of something, I'll have them do some stretches and that'll tell me exactly what. You know, there's the uh, jogging up and down in one place and freeze. Oh, okay. To look at the legs, see what's going on with that. Um, putting the feet so that they are perfect and then noticing there's wall angel and then stretches like stairway stretch sofa stretch dishcloth okay. yeah well that's what i use it's this one here yeah and I, i've got a dishcloth here and so by pulling up with this one i pull this arm up okay yeah and so they all got funny names he's got that mask on too yeah They get this huge feel when they stay up here. Huh. Well, that looks like somebody's house. Oh. But that maybe is... Oh, that's the office. I didn't even know there was an office, okay. All right, so, should we head over that way? 
Okay. I mean, there's a whole walking trail if you're bored. I'm not bored, I'm with you. It's, oh, thanks. There's this whole walking trail, I've done it before. Uh -huh. I didn't even know you could walk back there. Yeah, Ooh, maybe it's a maze. Oh yeah, a free maze. Do you have an app that will help us get our way back? It's in the car. Oh, <laughs> so we could be lost. Yeah. Oh dear. <clears throat> Maybe if you stood on my shoulders, yeah. And, and, um, oh yeah, then I can th see. Then you could look to see which way out because I don't think you'd let me stand on your shoulders <laughs> no so if you had to choose like one massage modality as your favorite what is it um Suboccipital release. Oh, nice. So it's a, it's a subsection of craniosacral. Okay. Ooh. The one that's kind of hard in your hands? What's up? It's kind of hard on your hands. And I've had to do it one handed and learn how to do it with these two fingers, keeping this one available to do that. So it's up out that whereas it, it was so much easier to do it this way up out little fingers oh okay so yeah it's one one handed i didn't know i had it up out yeah well, out I didn't know obviously it up first yeah, yeah and then you find out if there's tightness on the front of the um the neck then you need to open up because you're working on the foramen magnus. You, that, that helps to stretch it open and then the little finger helps to widen it at 90 degrees to that because you're moving the occiput, occiput back from it. So you're opening up the foramen magnum. Could you use a second to the little finger? For what? I can't use a little finger for that. Well, no, yeah. I only use the little finger when I got two hands to do I, that. Yeah, it's mine's pretty useless. Uh, well, you could use the one finger oh, yeah. on the other hand okay, yeah. to do it. Because it's not a lot of force. Oh, okay. Um, but one-handed, I have to use the middle finger so I can easily put force on it, but it's not required. Um, after that circular friction on scar tissue oh, okay because once you got rid of scar tissue a whole bunch of other things don't have to compensate do you use uh, any kind of oil with that no okay What looks the most intent is lifting up and rotating the scapula. When anybody you know, looking outside would say, oh, doesn't that hurt? But the person experiencing it says, oh, it feels so wonderful. Oh, in Thai massage, you can put your toes under it. Uh-huh. I did that last week. Okay. So that's where the um, dish towel stretch comes in. 
Okay. It helps to work the muscle underneath the scapula. After that, banana bending um, helps to release fascial tightness in all sorts of places. Can you do that to a client? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not oh, moving shit. the bones around. I'm just pressing on them. And then the fascia, which is the tissues holding it in place, relaxes. I thought you meant banana bending their whole body. Anything. Anything? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any, any body part. So where did you learn cranial sacral? I had a cranial sacral class. How many days was it? Uh, three and a half days. Oh, okay. Yeah, at the time it cost like $800. Yeah. Uh, they said it was in the Greater Hartford area. So I thought, oh good, see another area. No, it was in Meriden. Oh. And I was working in Meriden, so it's like, duh. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I want to take it, but I don't want to spend eight hundred dollars. So. Right. Is it possible to like read a book and like pick it up? You should be practicing on somebody that has a clue what it feels like. Yeah. The chances are, just reading the book, you'd be doing it too hard. Oh. Even though they tell you. The amount of force is like picking up a dime. Really? It's really light. Oh, this is like a perfect modality for me. I'm going to start studying this. Yes. Oh. Um, and I've modified it so at times it's more like a fascial stretch, which allows me to go a bit more of a pull. Okay. But yeah, ideally it should be just light. Wow. So, yeah, if you try that, yeah. knowing, thinking just that, and if you get to the point where, yeah, it feels like the bone is just floating there, you succeeded. That's the amount of force. But are you having a hard time getting clients with craniosacral? Well, I'm not advertising. Yeah. I, I use it if they need it. Okay. So if there's a mechanism of um, head trauma, neck trauma, landing on their butt, if they're having headaches, migraines, if they're having nerve problems anywhere in the body, Thanks for watching today's video. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.